This is our SOMSO neuroanatomy model. We usually refer to these as the clear skull. So we're going to remove the brain and get rid of that. Nobody needs that. And look at the blood vessels here in the base of the skull. So collectively, this is referred to as the cerebral arterial circle formerly known as the Circle of Willis. Today, we don't use eponyms or terms that are named after people, or at least we try not to. More often than not, people ref will refer to this as the Circle of Willis, but keep in mind that officially it is the Cerebral Arterial Circle, the Circle of Arteries that go up here to the brain. So let's look. If we look at our exterior skull, we can see our common carotid here and this blood vessel that goes up to the outside of the head here would be your external carotid and then the one that goes up and through that carotid canal which you do remember from skull anatomy would be your internal carotid artery so external carotid there up to the outside of the skull back here, the internal carotid. And you can see that external carotid comes up here and then sort of branches off into what we would call the superficial temporal artery. Look at the back here. There's your cervical vertebrae. And those transverse foramina, which again, you remember from last semester, the holes in those cervical vertebrae, we see the vertebral artery going through those holes in the cervical vertebrae, the transverse foramina. And those vertebral arteries come up through the foramen magnum and join together here. This large, fat, centipede-looking artery right there is called the basilar artery. These branches back here, this would be the posterior cerebral artery. The big fat one in the middle is the middle cerebral artery. And then these little branches that stick straight out, the anterior cerebral artery. Now, this little branch between those two, that's called the anterior communicating artery. And this little branch between the posterior and middle cerebral arteries, that this section that I'm pointing at right here, between there and there, that is your posterior communicating artery. So anterior communicating artery, posterior communicating artery. These are the blood vessels of the cerebral arterial circle that you will need. Again, normally we would be looking at this in, in many different ways. At the moment, this is what we've got. So. There is our Samso neuroanatomy model and those blood vessels of the cerebral arterial circle and the skull.